on how to paint chickens, you know, and started giving her a hard time, and then she flips out and wants to wants the painting back or wants to destroy it. She, she don't realize I've done that standard chicken a million freaking times. Anyone who knows what I do can see that. She don't know that, but she's willing to toss a big bloody fit over here, call me up, make, you know, in this massive whatever. But, but here's a video. So yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna try to teach you how to paint chickens. Do you think you can do that? Hello. Put your drink. This is um, this is uh, you're gonna be doing uh, chicken George uh, chicken painting training. So I want you to go ahead and and just uh, show you what I have. See what you can do. Well, there's a portrait. It's just not some freaking Pokemon chicken. Come <laughs> 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 on, you gotta fucking get it's a comb. I right did a comb. Right there. Let me go. Don't be fucking this up. It's a dead chicken. Yeah, we can do a dead chicken. I think it needs more messy. Needs some, it needs some definition. Ruby, this is your painting. You should, uh, I think I need your chicken. This is your chicken. You're gonna know how to paint. You're gonna know how to paint my cock. This is what it is. It's about a, making a, the cock of the walk. It's gonna be the first Ruby art on eBay. It's a big time. You're making it big time now. I'm going to train you into, have you ever painted before? No. So you're going to be like a real folk artist. You never, you never painted at all. This is like totally new for you. I have painted. <laughs> it's even better. See, he's figuring out. See, you're figuring out. Train you. And you don't have any education about art whatsoever. But not, not paint. Not painting. Really? Not painting? Mm. That's even better. You're doing a good job. I was gonna make sure you. Okay. Yeah, since you do, you're doing a good job. Full time folk artist here on eBay before you know it. That, not that. <laughs> That's not the way. What, we put a line across his beak like that? What the hell are you talking about? That's not his beak. That's his neck. Yeah, I know, but you about cut it over to the side like that. Well, I don't know. I just needed some. Here, try something again. Try else. again. Something else. Try again. I'm not gonna be fucking around with you no more. I just better do it right. You just better do this right. Okay. Okay. Well, now I'm nervous. Well, don't be nervous. There's nothing to be nervous about. Just do it right. Well, you're bossing me. Listen, you just gotta think. Just think about how to make that rooster comb look realistic. How do you make that thing work? And uh, I don't want to. Just don't do anything. Well, how many chickens have you painted? Have you painted chickens? Have you painted? My, you're ruining my premier eBay project. No, I'm trying to get this thing back in order. No, you're. No, 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 no that's good. Fuck that. We that can, one was good. Ugh. I didn't know when to say. Now it's turning when. into a crab. It's turning into some kind of fucking crab. Well, that's because you got involved. I got involved. It's supposed to be my thing. This is supposed to be your...
choice of uh, this thing here. Randomly chose. And uh, in this bag here again, but yeah, I gotta cover your eyes. So I gotta, I gotta take this fancy little hat off here. Put it over here. I'm my sweaty forehead. Which way you won't? Yeah, oh. see? Oh, it's hot here. I know it's hot. God, we're in a health kitchen. Yeah, I know we're in a health kitchen. Okay, so before we hey, before we choose this, I have a special video I wanted to talk about. Because, you know, I went to Marathon. Yeah. Well, I, I went over there and I had to mount some figures over there. And, uh, special video. Back here again, you can see the, the really good portion. It's still pretty nasty. There they are. My two rubies will be mounted up here. There she is. The first one in her beauty. She's here to warn all of us. I'll have to fix this thing here. Ain't that right, Hoss? All right, number two is going up. Slut. With hatchets, I cut little. I, I try to with knife yield and hatchet butcher cleavers. Tempted temptresses. Yeah, see, this is this is for you, Ruby. Symbol of defiance of the oppression of good taste in Marathon. All right, so here it is. We're gonna wait. So again, um, make sure we're no. Uh, cover your uh, eyes. Cover your eyes. No. And just make sure that you take a pit. Okay, here it is. One hand. You pick a left hand. Okay, your left hand there. Yeah. Make sure, I'll make sure you don't freak out on something. Here's 133! And I know you didn't see in this video because it won't be released until next week. So, what I'm going to address here is who won 33? And actually, this guy is an honorable, really cool dude. I really like this guy a lot. I can't imagine. Yeah. A Ruby Admire? I wouldn't necessarily call that. His name is Deathmine. Deathmine? Deathmine. His name Deathmine, also, who are you? He's, his name is, I'm not going to look. You just I'm happen to be the, the lucky winner. Final, the final extravaganza. But first we got, I'm going to break out a pizza because I'm going to have a little something to eat. I'm getting, I've been drinking here. So. Yeah, make sure, you know what, you need to get. I got a special uh, Tatina's pizza that I want to eat while I've been drinking here. I had dinner for a night. That's the, that's the way I that's the way I roll. Tina's pizza. Okay. Thank you. That's what I've been drinking and stuff. And I like they're only like nine cents, huh? Finale right now. We got the crackers right here. She's excited. You know. Uh, maybe a little more tequila before we start getting into this whole like. Wait, you, 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 yeah, you, me you, first. You definitely need some more tequila. Yeah, me. Okay, you get that. All right. So basically, yeah. Before we get to number announcing that prize, there was another little special thing that I wanted to show you. It was like a it was like a special movie review that I did on uh, Friday the Thirteenth Part Three. It was like a, I did a special movie review, and I just wanted to. Cool. I know you don't. I you haven't seen it yet, but next week you'll probably see it. It's really it's a nice sort of interesting thing I did. So. Here it is, Tony. Yeah. Yeah, I love this movie. This movie reminds me of uh, my courtship of uh, Ruby. So this is kind of like a uh, Ruby here. She's pounding away at these doors of getting to know me, you know. And uh, 
I think, she, you know, as soon as she starts pushing the doors open wider and wider, she might like what she finds. So every part of this movie I'd like to get into and examine, I, I, it's like watching a movie over and over and I start thinking like, well, this is me, you know, like looking at Ruby's, you know, bedroom window over there and examining things. And this is when Ruby hurt her little, little foot and I have to walk her around and kind of took care of her. That was way back there last summer, you know. Remember that, Ruby? And then like, uh, then it, a lot of times Ruby's always trying to get away from me. She don't want to return my phone calls or she won't return emails. And so you have to, you know, women like you, if you be pushing, you know, you have to push it with them a little bit and let them know that they like you, you know. And so, but they put up a fight. They always seem to want to put up a fight about stuff. But, you know, sometimes, you know, you have to take a couple, you know. And that's what I realized the guy, you're going to get hurt trying to court a woman. And uh, you can get stabbed and beat and stuff like that. And, you, and it, the bad thing is I always want to retaliate, you know, and get mad at them. Uh, especially with Ruby there because, you know, she sometimes knows how to push my buttons. But I always seem to throw something at her. But she can run away. But I'm always going to get her. I'm always going to bring her back and bring her back into our... Our friendship, you know, and our dating thing. She didn't realize that we're dating, you know. So when I bring her back in, she can push and kick and get away, you know. It's just like a hard courtship. And sometimes you can get knocked over the head over stuff, you know. They can run. She can try to run from me, but ain't gonna make any difference. She's stuck here in this town. I brought her here, you know. You see, when I met Ruby over at that bar, and I started chasing her around the bar, you know, and it started getting to know her and everything, I said, you gotta come out here. Come out to Redford and hang out with me. I got a special little barn, you know, a little studio over here. Uh, so that's what she did. She ran over here to my little little Redford, you know, like this little barn's like Redford. So yeah, when I got her here, my little desert paradise in Redford, and I was all happy to have her here and working with her, and I realized how much I was in love with her and I wanted to be with her. But I realized you just gotta, you gotta keep them, hold them down and let them just sort of Examine you and get to know you as a person, you know But the thing is that most most women they're always they're gonna throw you some they're gonna try to wipe you out That's the way they work. It's like the last man standing and whether they you are the man that can take the, the punches from them is a big issue, you know, and uh, like I always saw this movie Friday the 13th This movie is really a romantic movie between you know guys and girls, you know, and And a lot of girls ain't easy, you know, but I always be around here standing with the blood of their wounds on my head from what they've done tortured me and got all over me but for some reason I always know that no matter how much I lay there in my uh, fake death that sometimes I might come back alive waiting to be revived the sleeper cell of love <laughs>